Researchers have made a huge leap forward in efforts to cure HIV. A London man has spent 18 months free from the virus without the help of his drugs. Here's more on that story. Little is known about him, not even his name. For now, all he's known as is the London patient. But he has become world famous after spending 18 months free of the AIDS virus. He joins Timothy Ray Brown, who has been HIV free for 12 years. Yes, I w would like to meet the London patient very much. Uh, um, I would, would say take your time in, um, if, you, if you want to become public, do it. And it, it's been very useful for science and for giving hope to, um, to HIV positive people, um, to people living with HIV. Um, and uh, um, so I would encourage you to become public someday. Both men received a transplant of stem cells from a donor resistant to HIV. They both received the bone marrow transplant of the stem cells while undergoing treatment for cancer. A research team from University College London, Imperial College London, Cambridge and Oxford Universities took part in the London patient's treatment. We waited 16 months before stopping uh, in the post-transplant period just to make sure that uh, the, the cancer was in remission, uh, the patient was well, and uh, that the measures we had of the HIV reservoir in, this, in the body uh, showed that there was very, very little virus there, if, if any at all. And, and at that point, we stopped the treatment. And so we, we're now 18 months in, um, and uh, we're confident that this will be a long-term remission, but it's too early to say as to whether this is a cure or not. While the news brings hope to those suffering from the disease, not everyone is eligible for the same treatment. HIV requires certain proteins to enter cells. There are individuals um, uh, in the Caucasian population mainly who completely uh, uh, lack functional uh, CCR5, which is one of these proteins that HIV needs. And therefore, a certain proportion of individuals um, are immune, as it were, to HIV infection. And therefore, if you transplant those cells into somebody who already has HIV, you may protect those new cells from, from infection. Finding the right donor match presents a challenge for researchers. Researchers also hesitate to give healthy patients the same grueling treatment as the London patient. The idea of getting rid of a virus like HIV that embeds itself into our own genetic material is extremely difficult and it's very rare that we see this. So that in itself is, a, is not a treatment that one would want to give to somebody who is living with HIV on current medicines and is very healthy. Our patients have a, a near normal life expectancy and we would never want to give somebody treatment that could potentially threaten that. And then having a bone marrow transplantation is a very complicated process. It, it requires an entire new set of cells to be taken into, a, into the person who's having a treatment. And that, again, is a process where whilst those cells are embedding, you're very at risk of getting infections and potentially dying. Meanwhile, researchers continue looking for other means to cure the virus and strengthen the current antiretroviral therapy treatment. Asatal, CGTN.